Today, we're diving into the language of behavior, a powerful tool that goes beyond words. Whether you're in school, at work, or with friends and family, mastering these techniques can revolutionize your communication skills. So get ready and get comfy, because we've got 10 game-changing methods coming your way. Number 1. Nonverbal Cues First up, let's talk about nonverbal cues. Your body language, facial expressions, and gestures speak volumes. Pay attention to the messages you're sending without words. A simple smile or a firm handshake can convey confidence and approachability, making a significant impact in various situations. Picture this. You're at a job interview. As you walk into the room, greet the interviewer with a genuine smile and a confident handshake. These nonverbal cues immediately convey your positive attitude and professionalism. Throughout the interview, maintain good posture and make eye contact to further express your confidence and engagement. These subtle yet powerful nonverbal signals can leave a lasting impression and greatly influence the interviewer's perception of you. Speaking of nonverbal cues and the impact they have to show what you're thinking, I have a scenario I'd like you to try. If you could tap that thumbs up to show you like this kind of content and also consider subscribing to the channel, it would mean the world to me and it signals to YouTube to keep sharing this video out to more people who enjoy this kind of information too. Thanks, they, and I truly appreciate it. Number two, observational skills. Develop your observational skills. Notice the subtle changes in others' behaviors and use that information to tailor your communication. For instance, if a friend seems a bit off, you can ask, is everything okay? This shows that you're attuned to their feelings and can deepen your connection. Let's say you're at a gathering with friends and you notice that one of them is unusually quiet and distant. Instead of ignoring it, use your observational skills. Approach your friend and say, hey, I've noticed you seemed a bit off today. Is everything okay? By acknowledging the subtle changes in their behavior, you show that you genuinely care about their well-being. This opens a door for them to share their feelings, strengthen your connection, and demonstrating the power of being observant in your relationships. Number three, mirror and matching. Mirror and matching is a powerful technique. Align your body language and speech patterns with those of the person you're communicating with. It creates a sense of rapport and connection, making your interactions more natural and comfortable. Imagine you're in a team meeting and you're discussing a project with a colleague. If your colleague is using expressive hand gestures while explaining ideas, mirror their behavior. Match their enthusiasm by incorporating gestures into your communication. This creates a harmonious exchange where both of you feel more connected. Subconsciously, it establishes a sense of unity, making the collaboration smoother and enhancing the overall communication experience. Number four, tone and inflection. Your tone and inflection can change the entire meaning of your words. Experiment with different tones, assertive, empathetic, or enthusiastic, depending on the situation. A well-modulated voice can command attention and convey your message with impact. Let's say you're leading a team meeting to discuss a new project. If you use an enthusiastic and optimistic tone, say something like, I'm excited about the possibility this project holds. That can energize your team and instill a sense of enthusiasm. On the other hand, if you're providing constructive feedback to a team member, adopting an empathetic tone like, I understand this might be challenging, but I believe in your ability to overcome it. This conveys support and understanding. The versatility of your tone can significantly influence how your message is received and the impact it has on your audience. Number five, proactive listening. Proactive listening is a skill you can't afford to overlook. Instead of just hearing, make a conscious effort to understand the emotions behind the words. Respond with empathy and you'll find yourself connecting on a deeper level with others. Imagine you're talking to a friend who is sharing a personal challenge. Instead of offering immediate solutions, practice proactive listening. Say something like, I can sense that this is difficult for you. How are you feeling about this? By acknowledging the emotions behind their words and responding with empathy, you create a space for meaningful conversation. Your friend will appreciate your understanding and you'll build a deeper connection based on genuine care and support. 
Number six, adapting to social cues. Being socially savvy is crucial. Pay attention to social cues and adapt accordingly. Whether you're at a networking event or a family gathering, understanding the dynamics and adjusting your behavior appropriately can make you a standout communicator. Imagine you're at a networking event with professionals from various industries. Notice the social cues. If conversations are formal and focused on business, adopt your behavior accordingly. However, if you sense a more relaxed atmosphere during a break, feel free to engage in casual conversations. Being socially savvy allows you to navigate different scenarios seamlessly, making you approachable and memorable. The ability to read social cues and adjust your communication style sets you apart as a communicator who can thrive in diverse environments. Number seven, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is a key player in effective communication. Recognize and manage your emotions while being attuned to others. This not only enhances your relationships, but also allows you to navigate complex social situations with finesse. Imagine you're leading a project and a team member expresses frustration during a meeting. Instead of reacting impulsively, tap into your emotional intelligence. Take a moment to acknowledge your own emotions. Then address your team member with empathy, saying something like this, I sense that this is challenging. Let's discuss how we can overcome these obstacles together, okay? By recognizing and managing both your emotions and theirs, not only diffuse tension, but also demonstrate emotional intelligence, creating a conducive environment for effective communication and collaboration. Number eight, conflict de-escalation. Conflict is inevitable. We're only human, but how you handle it matters. Practice conflict de-escalation by staying calm, listening actively, and finding common ground. It's a skill that will serve you well in resolving disputes, both at work and in personal relationships. Let's say you're working on a group project and there's a disagreement about the direction to take. Instead of escalating the conflict, practice conflict de-escalation. Stay calm and say, I understand we have different perspectives. Can we at least identify the common goals we all share and build from there? By actively listening and finding common ground, you redirect the focus to shared objectives. This not only resolves the immediate conflict, but also fosters a collaborative atmosphere where everyone feels heard and respected. Number nine, using positive reinforcement. Harness the power of positive reinforcement. Acknowledge and appreciate positive behavior in others. Whether it's a colleague's hard work or a friend's support, expressing gratitude fosters a positive environment and strengthens your connections. Imagine you're working on a group project. We do do a lot of group projects, don't we? And a colleague goes above and beyond to meet a tight deadline. Instead of letting it go unnoticed, practice positive reinforcement. Say something like this. I want to recognize and appreciate the incredible effort you put into meeting the deadline. Your dedication truly made a difference. By acknowledging and expressing gratitude for their positive behavior, you not only boost their morale, but also contribute to a positive team culture where everyone feels valued and motivated to excel. Number 10, silence as a communication tool. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of silence. Sometimes saying nothing speaks volumes. Use strategic pauses to let your message sink in or to invite others to share their thoughts just as you should take a few moments to leave a comment on which of these 10 tips work best for you. Imagine you're in a meeting discussing a challenging project. After presenting a critical idea, pause for a moment, allowing your team to absorb the information. This silence creates anticipation and prompts others to reflect on what was shared. It opens the floor for thoughtful contributions and ensures that your message resonates on a deeper level. Remember, silence is not just the absence of words. It's a deliberate choice that can enhance the impact of your communication. There you have it, 10 techniques to master the language of behavior. Whether you're navigating the challenges of school, collaborating with colleagues and coworkers, or building stronger connections with friends and family, these methods will elevate your communication skills to a whole new level. Remember, sometimes it's not about what you say, but how you say it. Until the next time, keep communicating beyond words 
and making a positive impact in every interaction. Stay awesome, and I'll see you online soon.